everybody. Welcome to Mrs. Roberts' supermarket. Now this afternoon, I am going to pretend to be one of our very, very important workers at the moment. And I am going to be working in a supermarket. I have even made myself my own special badge. It says Mrs. Roberts, supermarket staff. And it's got some pictures of some vegetables on there. You could make your own badge if you would like to pretend to be in charge of your supermarket too. So I have had a look in my cupboards and I have found some different foods. So this afternoon, boys and girls, we're going to think about going to the shops and we're going to make our own pretend shops at home. And if you're going to the shops and you would like to get some food, what do you need to take with you? Do you know? You're going to need to take some money, aren't you? So we're going to be having a little look at money this afternoon as well. So it would be really lovely if you could sit with your grown-ups and see if you can find any coins in your house and have a look at them. Are they all the same? Do some of them look different? When you've had a good look, I would like you to see if you can work with your grown-ups to find some of these ones. These are our coin that is worth the least. These are one pence coins. Can you show me one finger? Diane, can you do one clap for me? You ready? <claps> Diane, can you pat your head one time? Well done. And we're going to have a go at using our magic finger to do a number one in the air. So can you put your finger at the top and we say start at the top and down we run. One, one, one. And these are our one pence coins and if you look very closely you'll probably be able to see a one on your one pence coins at home. Well, these are the ones that we're going to be using to go to our supermarket today. If you haven't got any at home, you could always cut some little circles out and put number ones on those and you could pretend they're your one pence coins. You're going to need them to come to the shop. So I have put some labels on some of my foods to set up my supermarket. And it tells us how much the different foods cost. So I've got a number, and then next to my number, there's a little p, p, p. And that p means pence. It tells us how many pennies it costs. So this one, can you see that one? How much does that one cost? Four pence. What about this one? Can you see the number on there? That one's two pence. Die out. This is a bit more expensive. Oh, this is a heavy one. How much does that one cost? Down the lady, round the baby and give her a hat. That's right, that's number five. Here's a really big number. I don't think you'll know this one, but have a little look. That one is 11 pence. So there are four things in my supermarket that have got prices on. And I'm going to be the shopkeeper and I need a friend to come to do some shopping. The only trouble is, I'm all on my own. So I'm going to see if Orson all comes. Should we give him a shout? Can you help me? After three, should we shout Orson? Are you ready? In that tree. Orson! Where is he? Is he, is he coming? Oh! Here he comes. Look, say Penanda to Orson. Penanda. Right, Orson, you come over here by the penny then you can be my person coming to my shop. You just sit there for a minute or so. There we go. Because there's one more thing I'm going to need in my shop. And I've made, oh, I think he's going to have a little sleep. You lie down there then, good boy. I have made myself something that a shopkeeper in a shop would have. I have made myself my very own till. So I put some numbers at the bottom. I've got my screen here. You might have a real till at your house and you could use that, but this is my pretend one I made to put my money in when Orson comes and pays. And then last of all, I'm going to want to have a little piece of paper and a pen so I can write a receipt for Orson when he's been to the shop. So I know what he's bought. So here he comes. Okay, Orson, have you got your pennies? Come and have a look. What would you like to buy? I'll just give him a hand. Oh, what's he chosen? 
can you see? He's got the tomato sauce. Also, that costs two pence. So how many pennies will also need to give me? He'll need to give me two, won't he? Are you ready, Orson? To count and I'll put them into my till. One, two. Thank you, Orson. So in my till there, can you see, I've got two pennies. So Orson has bought the tomato sauce and I just need to write him out a receipt. So t -t 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 tomato, what sound does tomato? Tomato begin with. T -t Diane, it's a t -t -t tower. So I'm going to write tomato sauce. What sound does sauce begin with? S it's slither down the snake, isn't it? Tomato sauce, and it costs two pence. I'm going to do my number two. So I've done my special writing there. Don't forget, you can do your special writing however you like. I'll give Orson his receipt and he can go. So there you go, Orson. Off you go. Thank you for coming to Mrs. Roberts' shop. Off you go. Bye-bye. See you later. So this afternoon, spend a few minutes having a look at some coins. See if you can find the one pence pieces and then see if you can set up your very own shop with your grown-ups and see if they can come and buy some things from you. Bye now. Right, Hoyle Fowler, I will see you tomorrow morning where we're going to be doing a little bit of wriggling and jiggling for our Tuesday. See you soon. Bye bye.